Monopoly Equilibrium Introduction Monopolist is a single producer. The product he is producing has no substitute. There is a single firm with no competitor. Hence, there is no difference between firm and industry. There are barriers for the new firms to enter into the industry. Since there is no rival in the market, monopolist knows his product's demand curve. It slopes downward from left to right. It is the industry demand curve. Monopoly firm is a price maker. Under this backdrop, by assuming monopolist is not incurring any cost, we are going to analyze the price output determination under monopoly to begin with. No cost of production doesn't mean he can produce and sell any quantity he wants. He can fix any price as he pleases. Though he has the liberty to decide the price and output, he will not do it arbitrarily. He does it judiciously. In the absence of cost, whatever he earns is his profit. His profit is nothing but revenue. Then he will fix the price and output in such a way that maximizes his total revenue. TR is the total revenue curve. It rises first. After reaching the maximum, it falls. This is because the monopolist has to reduce the price to sell more. In the absence of cost, the problem of the monopolist is to fix the revenue maximizing output. Already we have studied that total revenue is maximum when marginal revenue is zero. We shall now fix the marginal revenue curve. As the AR curve descends, MR curve lies below the AR curve. Marginal revenue curve cuts the x-axis at point M. It means when output is M, marginal revenue is zero and total revenue is maximum. M, yes, is the maximum total revenue. If he produces and sells less or more than this, his total revenue will be less than MS. Having understood, the profit maximizing output is determined where MR is equal to zero, we shall turn our attention to price determination. We shall remove the total revenue curve in order to reduce complexity. To fix the price, we have to travel vertically to the AR curve. ME or OP is the revenue maximizing price. Now it's time to know in which part of the average revenue curve normally a monopolist will prefer to operate. For this, we have to identify three important parts on the average revenue curve. Point E. It lies on the average revenue curve exactly above M where MR is equal to zero. At this point, Elasticity is equal to 1. Segment EA that lies to the left of E. In this segment of average revenue curve, elasticity is greater than 1. This is the most preferred segment of a monopolist to operate because corresponding to this segment, marginal revenue is positive. Segment that lies to the right of E. In this segment, elasticity of demand is less than 1. This is the least preferred segment. So to say, monopolist doesn't want to operate in this segment because corresponding to this segment, marginal revenue is negative. Before we conclude, we shall summarize what we have learned so far. 1. In the absence of cost, a monopolist fixes the revenue maximizing output at marginal revenue is equal to zero. Two, price 
fixed exactly at unitary elastic demand maximizes total revenue. 3. Monopolies prefer to operate along the segment of the average revenue curve where demand is relatively elastic. 4. Monopolist doesn't prefer to operate along the segment of the average revenue curve where demand is relatively inelastic. These are all some of the basic ideas a beginner has to gain before studying the short run equilibrium of a monopoly firm. Well, we shall meet in the next lesson on monopoly equilibrium short run.